Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General reading. This is for the element of air. Um, so if you're a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, and that's your sun, moon, rising sign, these messages are for you for the weekend of April uh, 3rd through the 5th, 2020. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Um, and then also, if you want to book your personal reading, payments and orders are collected Fridays, which is tomorrow. Um, so make sure that you get your order in. Uh, be sure to email me if you don't have this year's price list from January 2020. If you want to reach me by phone, that's a separate process. Um, so make sure that you're subscribed so that you can get those notifications of when I'm taking calls. Um, uh, let's get started here. We have the central issue heart of the matter is the Seven of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups, the Two of Cups, and we have Judgment, Five of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, the World, and the Hanged Man. Um, also, you guys, be sure that you can support this channel um, any way that you can. So um, I do have Patreon. I have not been uploading the teachings because it didn't seem to be responding that well. So I might revamp that, but I still have an option that you can support 222 um, monthly for the, just for me doing what I do here. And then uh, also, <laughs> I hate to you know throw this out there about the whole commercials, but YouTube is kind of tripping. Um, so. I just ask that every now and then if you could just watch through one of the commercials or click it um, and then just go back to the reading, <laughs> you know, because I only get the credit if someone clicks it or watches it for, I think, the 30 seconds at least. Um, so, yeah. All right. So what's going on here is that um, there seems to be some form of contemplation or waiting for something to happen or waiting for something to manifest. You might be feeling frustrated or a bit of hopelessness because things seem to be foggy, Seems uh, things seem to be slow. Um, and the weird thing is that it looks like there's a love connection if, you know, if we're speaking about the love part. Um, it looks like there's a love connection, but it seems like maybe nothing's happening. This person, um, and it is, it, they feel the same way is the thing, is that the feeling is mutual, but it might be that both people are waiting for each other or both people are pre preoccupied with other things. Um, it's something going on where it just seems like there's just delays in regards to uh, your love life whoever you're having this connection with. And it could be any sign, but so far we have a water sign showing up. So Cancer, Pisces, or uh, Scorpio. Um, also maybe someone that has Mars in Scorpio or Virgo as well. So yeah, it looks like there is this um, waiting game going on. Waiting to see, you know, maybe you're having a wait for signs or clues, or maybe they are waiting for signs or clues. Um, if this is not love related, maybe you're waiting to hear back um, from about something. It could be about finances, it could be anything. Maybe you're uh, concerned about your health and you're just waiting to see what some sort of results are gonna be. Now, I do feel like there could be some sort of disappointment in whatever it is that you're waiting for. So it looks like um, you are going to be dealing with some sort of past issue or if this is getting that response or a callback, whatever it is that's being said or revealed is disappointing. Um, I mean, it is possible that maybe someone is just revealing the fact that they are sad or that they miss you or that you're sad or miss someone. Um, it could just be about, you know, that revealing those feelings, but it, it does look like whatever news you are waiting for is disappointing. Now it also could be disappointing because you still don't hear anything or like silence is the response. 
something feels like a missed opportunity as well. Um, I feel like someone definitely is reflecting on their past deeds, their past actions, and just feels like hopeless, like wondering like, well, what else can I do? You know, like I can't change the past. I wish I could. So I feel like you guys are kind of moping about the past. And then it looks like it's back to the drawing board. It's like, well, instead of dwelling on it, let me just kind of focus on something else. So I feel like you just start working or maybe you're working out or maybe you even start uh, munching on something. Um, I feel like though, this is someone who is journaling about their past or talk writing about their past or somehow channeling their sad energies into their work. Um, so, I mean, this would be very good, of course, if you're like a, a writer of song or TV or film, because it's like, you're like, I, I can't do anything but write about it. Excuse me, if you have to work over the weekend, this is you just kind of moping um, as you work. You're working, but you're still thinking about the past. Matter of fact, some of you, <laughs> some of you might be mad, not mad, but just sad if you're an essential worker and you get called in for work, they're like, yeah, we're going to need you. And you might get depressed about it because maybe you just want to stay home. Maybe you just want to, you know, relax with family, but it's like you're being called back in. Um, but I feel like for the most part, some sort of plans are falling through and it's like having to figure something else out. Um, now, I also see someone composing a love letter to someone who is at a distance. Some of you might be grieving because you feel far away from uh, your love interest or you feel far away from family or you feel like maybe your dream is too far away or unattainable. I feel like someone keeps trying to make some sort of plans to take a trip, but your plans keep getting delayed. And I feel like you keep going back and trying to reconfigure, restructure, uh, re-strategize. And you're like, okay, this is finished. It should work this time. And then it just leads you to being on hold again, being stuck. Yeah, it's, it's like something just keeps going in suspense. I feel like you can't get closure either. Like the world, something something is supposed to give you closure or something is supposed to complete, but it looks like there are some sort of delays or the minute you do complete something and you think that things are getting ready to move, there's a delay or blockage. I feel like there is a need for you to, what is that? I feel like there is a need for you to um, see something, see your situation from a different perspective as well. And I also feel like that is why the universe keeps delaying your plans um, because you need to see something from a different perspective. Mm. Hmm. Now, there also could be something going on where I'm picking up possible deception only because of a snake. Someone is maybe very quiet. And then I'm looking at this sickle. So I'm hearing that song, Killing Me Softly. So maybe something is like, maybe that's the way you feel. Killing me softly with his words. Strewing my life with his words. Killing me softly with his words. I'm singing it so wrong, probably. But um, <laughs> I had to belt out a tune. But yeah, it, I, I feel like something does feel as if it's being killed softly or someone is just like maybe someone feels like this is killing them i just feel that you need to 
change directions. Something about your spirits or your way of thinking needs to be shifted. Now, I also feel that in a love situation, there's been communication, but it's telepathic. And it's also been more so dream related. I also feel that something's going on about having to remember. Like, some of you forgot who you were or what you came here to do, like, in a spiritual sense. Um, and this is part of the reason why a lot of people are stuck in isolation, because it seems bad, but I feel like spirit does want you to start to remember who you are what you came here for, what your purpose is. So this is a time of reflection for a lot of you. A lot of you are possibly too caught up into materialism um, or, you know, there has been, um, yeah, just too much focus on materialism. And it's like that, yes, materialism, materialism is needed for this life, but don't get lost in it. That's not the only reason um, you came here for. Romantically, I see something about soulmates who are lost. Um, soulmates who are trying to find each other but are feeling stuck or hopeless. Um, and even with everything that's going on, I do have kind of like one of my thoughts or philosophies is that they are trying to keep people apart from each other for whatever reason. Like um, some some of you guys are thinking I'm being fear based. I don't know if you guys are watching the things that I'm posting, though. But you should watch them because they're not fear based. They're informative. Um, fear based to me is just showing stuff about people crying, talking about they dying, they dying and they're not saying anything. They're just not giving you information. They're just crying about people that's dying. Like that's fear based to me. But I'm posting things that's talking about like informative, informative things. And the reason why I personally am taking more of an interest in what's going on is because I feel like there's something going on that is trying to attack the spiritual community but i feel like it's really going to backfire that's my personal opinion but i still want to understand exactly what's happening um so that we can take our power back and i also feel like i need to watch what i say in these videos too because some of you all been saying that my videos my video wasn't showing up and it's saying an error occurred so i don't know if i done said some stuff that's making them keep a close watch on me but that's weird um, so anyway, let me start clarifying a couple of things for you all. Um, hmm. Yeah, you guys are also taking assessments of your life, period. You might be taking assessment of your love life, trying to figure out what it is exactly that you need in a partnership. Uh, versus what you want. Um, you might be trying to take an assessment of what to do next. It's like maybe you only knew about, you know, whatever your job was. That's all you knew. And now you're being forced to reflect and, and figure out how can you turn your passion or your other talents into money. Don't be waiting for them to send those stimulus check either. Let me look at this judgment card. I got the name Tony for somebody. Tony or Antonio. Now, judgment also is indicating to me that you keep getting some sort of opportunities to 
speak your mind, pursue a dream, pursue a person, but you're refusing to do it. You're refusing to face your past because it's too much fear going on. Um, you are not wanting to deal with these triggers. Some of you are realizing that you're deeply wounded or that you haven't healed or that you're stuck because you haven't healed. Hmm. There also could be something significant about a Pisces or a Cancer in your life. I don't know if they're keeping some sort of secret from you and it's something that they need to reveal or confess. Someone has been keeping their distance because they're trying to find themselves or they're trying to find the words to say to you. Or maybe you have been avoiding someone or keeping your distance because you're trying to find uh, the right words to say. Um, somebody's also in denial. I feel like the universe keeps giving you chances or opportunities that you keep passing up. Unless it's some the other person that keeps passing out opportunities to talk to you. This also indicates that everything is forever changed. Like, if you also want to look at this from a spiritual standpoint, it looks like we're in a judgment because now everybody is forced to reflect and review about their past actions. A lot of you may be recognizing that ego has been a culprit of a lot of things. Let me look at the Five of Cups. Now I'm seeing for some of you that if you think the bridges have been burned, they have not been burned. You can still go across that bridge. getting some water sign energy some water sign energy that misses you a whole lot or you miss a water sign um, or there's a water sign that feels guilty for something I feel like a water sign has a secret I feel like somebody's being haunted by their past Someone, I feel like someone's conscious is eating at them. Mm, I do feel like someone wants to apologize. And either someone is blocked or someone is just guarded, very guarded. Someone's been trying to tell you something or say they're sorry or express how they feel. Um, but they haven't done it yet. Or every time they get ready to do it, they, I don't know, they have a setback or feel like, no, I gotta change the plans, change the plans. Hmm. You guys are also, um, doing some sort of research or studying over the weekend. I feel like you're going to do a lot of busy things. I feel like you're trying to keep yourself preoccupied. I mean, this can even be you just scrolling all day. It, it looks very routine or mundane. Let me look at uh, the hanged man here. It also looks like if you were dealing with a water sign... Like you have moved on from them or they moved on from you. and But someone is, I feel like, not ready to come to grips with that.
somebody is holding their breath. They're like, I just want to wait and see what's going to happen. Um, because somebody still believes that something is worth it or worth the wait. Someone is still holding on to what they hold to be true. Mm. Okay, what else am I getting here? So, like I said, I feel like someone wants to come forward, but they haven't got the courage. Someone keeps getting cold feet. I don't know what happens every time somebody is trying to come forward. They have a setback or a flashback even. Um, so I feel like somebody is traumatized. Somebody is traumatized because they were really hurt in the past. And I see somebody snooping on you or you are snooping on them. Even if it's through tarot, there is some sort of snooping going on. Um, but somebody is still like, I'll wait. Somebody is like, if you come towards me, I'll forgive you. I feel like there is someone keeps um, delaying an apology. And I feel like it just keeps getting played out in their head. They keep thinking about like how it's going to turn out, how it's going to be. So, yeah. Um, and then if that is, you know, job related, either way, it's still. It's still something that you're needing to consider. Like, I don't know if you were already offered something, but you put it on hold or they just keep putting you on hold and it's, everything is just in suspense. So let me uh, pull some energy cards for additional messages. All right. Additional messages for air signs. For Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So we have financial constraints, appreciation, yin and yang, second chakra, Archangel Ariel. All right, so you guys are feeling a lack of something. It could be a lack of finances, a lack of food, lack in communication. It just to me indicates that there's um, some sort of emptiness or a void, something that you need that you feel like you don't have. And you are starting to appreciate what you have. It's like you're, you're counting your blessings. Um, I also feel that you are being shown that you're appreciated for something. I don't know if you felt like you at first you were feeling underappreciated or ignored. And then I feel like something happens where maybe that changes. You are going to be appreciated or you do start to appreciate what you have. Um, someone on a mundane level, I see someone liking your selfie. And whoever this is, is the person that you want it to like it. You know how a lot of times, um, you know, you get attention from everybody but the person that you want to get, get the attention from. I feel like somebody will acknowledge something that you say or someone acknowledges you and, and shows you some form of appreciation. Um, now, this also could be, go the other way. You might, somebody might be feeling like you you don't appreciate them and you end up acknowledging them some, some type of way. 
Um, there is a need for balance with yin and yang. And then also there's the number 22 on here. So I don't know if some of you have been seeing the number 22 fre frequently. Um, but this indicates that there is a need for something to be balanced. I feel like balance will be restored within you, whatever it is that you're lacking. Um, again, anything that you value, anything from money to a person to a compliment, whatever it is, I feel like something evens itself out. Um, if this is strictly love related, I do feel like you are going to come in to contact with someone who feels like your other half, your twin, your soulmate, the yin to your yang. Um, I feel like you are going to come into contact with this person. Hmm. I'm just kind of looking at, to me, it just kind of looks like um, a fertilization of an egg. So I feel like something is being fertilized, if that makes sense. Um, like there is a, a birth, um, a pregnancy taking place. That could be a pregnancy of an idea, a relationship, anything. I feel like something is getting impregnated. So second chakra may indicate that your second chakra is blocked. Um, so your second chakra, that is the sacral chakra that does deal with um, sexuality, creativity too, um, but Maybe you have been imbalanced sexually um, and maybe there is a need for you to find a way to channel that energy some other type of way. Lord knows I've been trying to do that for the past couple of years. So <laughs> if I seem a little off balance sometimes, you guys, you have to forgive me. I know it. I know when I'm getting a little carried away. But anyway, seriously, um, you might need to kind of figure out a way to bring that back to balance and especially if you don't have anyone to talk to if you're not in a relationship you just have to find ways to focus on you and appreciate yourself um you know and this I know it seems easier said than done but you just have to keep going you have to keep trying um and you can't lose focus um despite everything else that's going on because I do feel like this is into making people feel hopeless. Um, sorry, I had to go ahead and see the next card. So some of you also might be feeling like you can heal the world or you can change the world. And honestly, yeah, that's another thing. Um, uh, I feel like we can do as a collective. I really want to, um, what do you call it? orchestrate something but I don't really know how but I do think we should heal ourselves because if we heal ourselves we heal each other um because like this whole I know some of you probably saw that posted I put up a few weeks ago how I said I felt responsible for all this social distancing thing that's going on um, and that is for me personally, that that is stems from distancing myself from love out of fear. And now it's just it seemed like it got carried away and it spread into the collective. So I feel like collectively, especially looking at so many comments, when I am trying to talk about something positive, people like to twist it and make it seem like good riddance or I don't want to love again leave me alone and I know that's coming from a place of pain and it, you know people just sound defensive sometimes in these comments and it makes me feel like you know what people are still hurting people still need to heal because people don't um trust love or the last person left a bad taste in their mouth and hopefully not the <laughs> not literally but um <laughs> you know stuff be happening um but seriously i feel like you need to heal yourself and you can heal the world or maybe that's your philosophy i know that's one of my philosophies um 
and I but I feel like it's true and I was I'm sorry I keep getting off subject but I was saying like with the whole thing that's going on it's like the social distancing thing is I feel like we need to go within during this time and not start saying I'm never gonna find my soulmate like I feel like your soul, like nothing can stop yin and yang from meeting together. These look like two magnets and they, at some point they come together regardless of how many worlds apart they are. You know, they might be far apart here, but I feel like if you truly keep believing and I might have to also rethink my whole idea about manifestation because I'm starting to... I'm starting to feel like I need to give manifestation another chance because honestly, I have been kind of on the fence about it because certain things I have seen manifest. Don't get me wrong. Um, but certain things that I didn't and it started making me think like, man, I don't know if you can alter your um, your free will or whatever is in that birth chart. I don't know. I'm starting to feel like, you know what? Let me try again to overcome all that you know whatever negative is in your birth chart or whatever fears that you have um because i feel like that's part of what this i don't want to say electromagnetic five five letter <laughs> you know i said i'm trying not to say certain things the five letter um i feel like uh, i don't know if you guys have ever heard of that nano dust that can where it's allowing them to control your mind. I think that is the agenda and I don't want them to do that. And I feel like to take the power back is to be aware of what is happening so that you can alter that and say, no, you're not going to make me fear based. You're not going to make me think that I'm not going to be able to see my loved ones ever again or find love um, and take that and just start imagining or meditating um, several times a day about you being happy and in love or you being happy with the, the job that you want or you being with your family, you know, just kind of take it and turn it into uh, love, loving thoughts. So I'm going to go ahead and end it there. <clears throat> but I hope this has helped. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Many blessings to you.